Right, you're welcome back. Now, the Ghana Institute of Journalism launched its 60th anniversary last week, Friday. Now, it's aimed at connecting alumni students, uh, corporate Ghana, and, of course, numerous friends and supporters of the school. Uh, the, the Institute also launched a digital media hub project and a 100 million Ghana City Endowment Fund. Now, the chairperson of the 60th Anniversary Planning Committee, Dr. Laurentia Japong, is here with me in the studio to talk more about the rest of the program lined up for the year. Dr. Japong, nice to see you. Thank you for coming. Nice to see you too. Thank you for having me. Excellent. So, 60 years. Congratulations. Yes. Thank the you big, very uh, much. Thank you. Uh, milestone. It is. So why don't you walk us through um, uh, some of the activities, or perhaps we'll start with the theme. You know, what exactly is it that you're hoping to celebrate this okay, year? Okay, so the theme for the 60th anniversary is celebrating our past, inspiring our future. We think that there's a lot that has happened in our past, from the setup of GIJ, and the vision that Dr. Kwame Nkrumah had for setting up GIJ was about the emancipation of Africa. And they, they led the fight for that emancipation. And then how do we inspire the future? Because even though Africa has been emancipated from colonization, what else do we have to do? Uh, we can talk about our development. In what way can modern um, communicators and future communicators help in national development? So we are looking at celebrating our past and then inspiring our future. Excellent. Now, you also are going to launch an endowment fund, a 100 million Ghana City endowment fund. Tell us what was the purpose of the fund, what are the things you are hoping that it will be able to cover? Okay, so the endowment fund has already been launched. It was launched on the same day that we launched the 60th anniversary. Um, the Honorable uh, Minister for Business Development, who is an alumnus of GIJ, launched both the 60th anniversary and the endowment fund. And as you mentioned, it's true. We want to raise 100 million Ghana cities. Mm. Now, the whole idea behind the endowment fund is to help plan for the future. You need to think about the future of the institution. So we say that we are inspiring the future. What do we want to inspire the future to do? And we are envisaging that even in current times, with all the challenges that communicators are facing, having to navigate with social media and also online media, um, dealing with citizen journalists and all of it. They need to be equipped. Mm. So we need to put the resources aside to actually plan for the future. And that is what the endowment fund is supposed to do, mm -hmm. to help us to envisage and also to plan the resources that can be used for future development of GIG. Now, tertiary education in Ghana uh, very often has to grapple with the issue of um, whether their products are fit for the industry, for industry. Yes. Um, after 60 years, does GIJ have that same problem? I mean, look, when you talk to people in industry, and that is something that we decided to do as part of the 60th anniversary, in planning the programs, we had a portion whereby the rector of the institute, Professor Kwamena Kwansa Edu, went to visit some people in industry, including went to visit your boss, Mr. Kwesi Chum, to talk to them about the products of GIJ, what industry expects from our products, and how can we be proactive. So in doing that, we realized that with the conversation, yes, people generally have issues with journalism practice in Ghana. GIJ, we do more than journalism, but we are known for training journalists. People have a problem with um, the kind of journalists that we are training. So what can we do as a premier institution that trains these communicators? What can we do? And we realized that one, we need to specialize in that we need to give them the training where if we are talking about business and finance, our communicators understand what business and finance entails. If we are talking about oil and gas, they do know how oil and gas industry work. If we are talking about health, if we are talking about environment, if we are talking about population. So we realize that we need to specialize. We need to equip them so that when they come out, it's not now that they are going to learn on the job, but they are ready to be used by industry. And that is where the Digital Media Hub comes in. We realize that the way to go is to have the kind of setup where by the time our products come out, when they come to Joy FM, for example, they are not now going to learn how to stand in front of the TV 
or navigate how to use the radio equipment, but they'll already be trained to do that. And that is why we decided to launch that media hub, a response to industry. Excellent. Now, uh, Dr. Japon, you are the chairperson of the uh, planning committee for, yes. for this year's anniversary. T talk us through some of the activities that you've got lined up. Well, I mean, as I said, we decided that the anniversary is not only going to be about celebration. We are going to fundraise both for the endowment fund and for the digital media hub. So most of the activities that are planned are geared towards um, fundraising. So we have a whole month for the alumni, which they are going to use that time to get together, to come back, give back to the school, to fundraise for the school, for the endowment fund and for the project. Of course, we have an, a conference where we are looking at actually having a synergy between industry and academia. So what does industry want? What is academia doing? We can put the two of them together so that there can be conversations. Because more often than not, we see that there's a disconnect between what academia is doing and what industry actually wants. So the conference is supposed to bring the two together. We also have um, public lectures. We have two public lectures that are going to be run. So um, we are still thinking about the theme because we want it to be current to our um, development. So we are thinking about themes that will be proactive to Ghana's development. And then we have a media context, which is open to the alumni, to students, to people in the media fraternity and communication to do something. You can do a documentary, a story, and there'll be prizes which will be awarded at the grand finale. Mm. Of course, on the day that we turn 60, which is on the 16th of October, 2019, there will be a grand deva um, that will actually look at what we've been able to achieve so far and also be able to celebrate our founders. And we will finally end with the Gala Night. The Gala Night is supposed to raise more funds for the Digital Media Hub and the Endowment Fund. So Excellent. Well, a year of wonderful celebration. Yes, yes. Now, you've talked a lot about how this year is about the alumni, bringing them together, bringing yeah. partners and friends of uh, GIJ together. Tell yes. me about the alumni. Um, they're everywhere. I know so many of them in, uh, in, in my field of work. Yes. Uh, how, are they, how do they relate to... Uh, the institute? What's the relationship between the institute and its alumni at the moment? Yes, I mean, that is one of the challenges that we've realized that as an institution, we haven't really made use of our alumni enough. And that is why it's important that it, with the 60th anniversary, we use the chance to link with the alumni. There is nowhere in Ghana that you will go and talk about communication that you will not find a product of GIG, multimedia, despite group, Everywhere, you would find them there. So how do we bring them together? It has been quite challenging, but we are hoping that with this anniversary, I mean, at the launch, we saw quite a large number of them. I went to Graphic, we went for a visit there, and about 90% of the people who work at Graphic are from GIG. And we need those kind of people, not only because we want them to fundraise for them, but they are the future. They are the ones that we are looking at potentially coming to lecture at the uh, institute. So we are finding a way. We are actually also thinking about bringing on board um, an alumni um, kind of consultancy whereby we will have a setup that will have a whole link with the alumni and have a database on them. And they will have an alumni relationship manager who will be able to manage them. Because we think that is a wealth of knowledge there and contacts there that we can use. And if you look at all the big universities across the globe, they rely on the alumni to fundraise, to also come back and give their quota to the school. And we think that's a side time we do same. Hmm. Well, um, clearly it's going to be a big year. You're planning to do lots of new things, alumni yeah. being brought on board. It looks like all change at GIJ. So yeah. what's, the, what's that final thought that you'd like to leave Ghanaians with as we celebrate the 60th year with you? Yeah, I think that one thing that I want people to understand is that even though we always say that government is responsible for education, we as citizens are equally responsible. We cannot leave all of it to government because we have to understand that the national cake has to be, has to be shared by everybody and there are competing interests. 
So government alone cannot be the one that is responsible. What about we that have gone to school? I went to Wesley Girls, and we do a lot of projects for our school. And that is why it's the kind of school that everybody wants to send their child to. So our alumni come and help GIJ to make it the kind of school that everybody would want to go to. And not only our alumni, our corporate institutions, who are the beneficiaries of the end products of the school, we need your help to bring out the kind of products that will be good for your own company. So we are calling on corporate Ghana, our alumni, Ghanaians in general who think that they want to see communication and journalism training go higher than it is now to come to our aid and help us realize the ambition that we have for the school. Well, we congratulate you. We wish you Thank a wonderful you. anniversary and Thank certainly you very much. we'll be there through it to celebrate. We with will you. be expecting you. Thank, Thank you so much. My mm -hmm. pleasure. Now, Dr. Laurentia Japon is the chairperson of the 60th anniversary planning committee. Um, and of course, GIG is celebrating their 60th year all year. Uh, let's all participate. <laughs>